Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you are all having a wonderful Friday. I also hope that um, you guys is recovering, especially those of you who lives in America from the Turkey, if you had Turkey yesterday, or if you overate, if you are still sleeping, some of you might be still sleeping. I don't know. I had dinner pretty late last night. I It took me five hours to cook. I didn't expect it to take that long. And uh, as usual, when it comes on to cooking, I'm just assuming I'm making a lot of vegetables and stuff that my dinner was going to be ready like in two hours. It took five hours and dinner was like at 9 p.m. However, not to worry. The family is accustomed to late dinners, especially at special time, because normally we have breakfast pretty late. And the holidays, sometimes if you come around my home, you will find us having breakfast like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. No joke, because if everybody wants to sleep in, they just are sleeping. And breakfast is like a second nature on the holidays. So I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And if you're living elsewhere, I hope you had a wonderful yesterday while we were eating. And uh, now we are going to talk about collagen because we eat as much as we want to eat. But at the same time, we want to boost the collagen production in the skin, collagen and elastin. Now we're going to talk about three ingredients that will help to boost the collagen and elastin in the skin. Now, if you find me talking a little slow, that is because I am still full since I ate that late. All right. So. Didn't expect anyone to be on the chat because I was just assuming most of you still sleeping or way too full to be on, you know, the whatever you used to watch, mostly the phone. Anyway, so we are here and collagen, collagen, collagen. Now, what is collagen? Collagen is a form of a protein and it's a very important protein because it is about like 75% of the skin, all right, do have um, that collagen. So why we talk so much about collagen in skincare is because the skin collagen is 75% protein okay so when it comes on to the elastin what is this elastin elastin is what causes the skin to bounce back so when you like press on the skin and it have that dent it just bounce back now you don't want to press on your skin and it don't bounce back if you press on the skin and it's not bouncing back it means that the skin is either swollen, which we won't get into all of that stuff. We're talking about, you know, just a beauty right here. Or it means that your skin is lacking enough elastin to, cut, to allow it to bounce back. And that is what you really, really don't want. You want to make sure that when you touch it, it bounces back. It needs to be firm and, you know, just, you know, you see what I'm doing right here. So we are going to talk about ingredients or ways in which you can help to have your skin looking firm and also in terms of boosting that collagen in the skin. Now, there are two ways of boosting the collagen and elastic in the, is lasting in the skin, and that is topically and, and um, digesting. <laughs> See, I'm so filled with turkey. No, guys, I didn't eat any turkey, to be honest. I did prepare a little bit of a, uh, a turkey, but I didn't, you know, partake of the turkey since I eat mostly, um, you know, meat-free um, meals. All right, let's do some shout-outs. So, yeah, you definitely need the col You definitely can eat your collagen or you can apply it topically to the skin. So we're going to do a little bit of a boat today. I put three ingredients as usual. You know, I normally go for way more than three, but if someone is just watching and be curious, like what are those three ingredients? We're gonna get into all the vitamin and antioxidant. And we like stuff like peptide and we like stuff like vitamin C and vitamin A, okay? All of those wonderful things is good to boost collagen and elastin. But now that you know all three out of the way, we're gonna dissect it. But let's do some shout out. If you're on the chat and you had a wonderful Thanksgiving comment, I was to 
come on yesterday, guys, just to wish you all a good Thanksgiving and all of that. And little old me just get carried away doing this, doing that. It's just so much sometime that I didn't get a chance to come on, but here I am today. And if you're new to the chat, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a slow day at work everywhere else and all of that. That is in America. But for those of you outside, we are here for you. And that's why we are on today. We don't want to be selfish and just leave the show and not, you know, do the show. Aman Alanda Folder. Hello, Chichi. Hello, everyone. Nazi. Hi, Nazi. How are you? We have Jay Dash Chess. Hello. Happy Black Friday. Now, if you are here in America, are you doing Doing Black Friday shopping, I tend to not. Sorry, guys. You know, it's we're gonna talk a little about these things in between. Um, it's I haven't done that in years. Like I'm so over the Black Friday shopping. Like I am so much the online person these days that I wait for everything online. I ain't gonna leave my plate of food and run out like yesterday, like a lot of people did, just to get a TV for eighty nine dollars. All right, I need to eat my food. All right, so that come first, and I really. Anyway, let's not talk about this because I don't really like the after turkey shopping thing. I prefer it was like today, like tonight, you know. But anyway, let's get on with collagen and giving some shout out. If you're, you know, if you are thinking the way I'm thinking about, you know, this Black Friday thing, you can feel free to comment. All right, Karen McDonald, Thanksgiving was very enjoyable and relaxing. Way to go, FB, hello. And we also, uh, Holly is here for you. Thank you so much, Karen. Hello, Elamo. Elamo. Greetings from the West Indies. And where in the West Indies are you, LMO? We don't celebrate Thanksgiving in my country, but this year I decided to thank God for everything, especially for being still alive in this world. And that is really, really good. Hello, one player. Here you go today. See, I remember you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat. I don't know where you are watching from, but I hope you had a good day yesterday and I hope you're having a good day today. Keep it clean, okay? All right, so we have um, Kadi um, Bonzer. How are you doing? Welcome. Patricia Singh, please send my share of turkey. Come on over. I have a fridge full of food, believe it or not. I didn't eat much yesterday. This evening, I'm going to eat those. So whoever wants... <laughs> in the New York area. I'm joking. I am joking. I do have the fridge full, but don't, well, you guys don't know my address. I wouldn't be surprised people turn up if they know where I live. So I got to be careful of what I say on this. All right. So we also have um grateful one of okay i remember you grateful one of the most i and good morning hello everyone oh much love to all hot for jesus hello 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 and we have me love colon notice i leave off the first part diane brown or dn brown i had my first vegan gluten-free thanksgiving it was amazing and tell me what you make okay tell me what I mean, guys, we thought some of these vegan food is really good to boost the collagen production in the skin. You can see it's all about food, guys. No, I'm not straight from the topic. I'm just giving a little shout out. And you can see they say when you eat turkey the day after you're lazy. I didn't eat turkey, but I still have that little thing going. So we're going to talk about collagen, but we want it to be a fun show today. Not the heavy stuff that we normally get into in Let's Talk Skincare. However, we're still going to talk about vitamin C and we're going to talk about vitamin A and we're going to talk about peptide and boots and collagen and elastic in the skin. But anyway, I am a bit nosy today and I want to know, Diane Brown, what meat did you use? I tried my aunt at making seaton yesterday and I actually, um, I boil it though. I roll it out and I put all the stuffing in it with a lot of like celery and stuff like that. I wrap it, I boil it and then I bake it. Tell me. And then I also make some tofu and I do the same thing big slab and i just stick it stick it stick it stick it and put some good sauce and it cover it bake it down anyway that's what i did but guess what guys guess who i still have to make the people i'm turkey okay i still have to make the family turkey other than that i would be in trouble so little old me was cooking for them and cooking for me so anyway we're talking about collagen. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk Skincare. How are you all doing? All right. So we have um, Love Your Hair, and that's um, Love Colon. Thank you so much. Olowadamilola. 
I love all your remedies. Thank you so much for that. Now, guys, if you're on the chat and you have tried vitamin C directly on your skin, can you please comment? There are many products out there that contains vitamin C. And if you are getting on in age, you're going to notice that a lot of people associate vitamin C with anti-aging and also for skin brightening and skin lightening and, you know, radiant and glowing. But do you know why people tend to associate vitamin C with these things? If you do, please comment. However, Vitamin C is a very vital vitamin when it comes on to skincare because it's not only brighten the skin and lighten the skin and, you know, have the skin glowing, but it also helps to boost the collagen production in the skin internally and mostly externally. All right, internally and externally. Now, what are some of the things that you need to eat to get that boost of vitamin C to boost the collagen on the lasting? Most of you are already familiar with these ingredients. This is mostly like citrus fruits and berries and green leafy vegetables. We all know about these amazing fruits and vegetables out there. One of the best berry for your skin that I could come up with is blueberries. And some people don't have blueberries, but if you live somewhere where you have blueberries, it's good to eat a lot of blueberries. A lot of the millennium these days, they like to put like the blueberries in their smoothies like people in my age we normally prefer to put blueberries in like pies and and uh, just look how the world just changed these days we definitely used to love the blueberry pie um bagel with blueberries and cobbler with blueberries if you talk to an older person and you mention the word blueberry that's probably what you're gonna get today from them that's how they are but if you talk to a millennium they're going to tell you about smoothies and green juice and all of these kind of good stuff that i myself now find myself getting into and really loving you know what they are coming up with since they are so um, tech savvy and all of that. But when it comes on the skincare, most people overlook the blueberry. Melanium are drinking blueberry for the loaded antioxidant in the blueberry to keep them thin and beautiful looking. So we need to get on the bond wagon and both drink the blueberry and also you can use it topically on your skin in the form of a facial mask. Now, the wonderful thing about these awesome um, vitamins and minerals these days is that all of these wonderful fruits and vegetables that we normally eat and have to get the fresh ones, now they're turning them into powder, they're turning them into, into jellies, they're turning them into all different kinds of things. Now you could get blueberry powder before, no, you gotta get that fresh blueberry, you gotta freeze it before it spoils, since it spoils so easily, but now you have the blueberry powder, you could go get it, you could put it in your smoothies, you could use it to make your facial mask and you could just do a lot of things with it, sprinkle it over your salad. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be using up these fruits and vegetables in your diet and also um, on in your skincare routine. So we're talking about uh, vitamin C, guys, and that is a wonderful antioxidant for brightening the skin and also for boots in the elastin in the skin. Now, guys, if you take a look, let's say, take a look at my skin, right? And not a shame, I'm 50 years old. I probably look it today since my eyes are looking a little weak. And I think at my age, oh, guys, you're going to notice a lot of indent in my forehead. If you're a regular follower, you'll know why those are there. I did mention them a couple of times on my show. Now, I gained uh, a bit of a weight. And some of you are aware that I gained weight. I think I'm losing it back right now. Some of you don't know. Some of you just think that, oh, this is the way she normally looks. But no, I gained some weight. And I'm thinking that when it comes down to my skin, and don't tell me about cracking and all of these kind of stuff, okay? I feel like at my age, when I look at my peers, most of my peers tend to have more wrinkles and fine lines than I do. Now, I use a lot of things on my skin, no joke. And 
I have been doing this not since YouTube, but basically as far back as I can remember. I am one person that used to experiment with all kinds of things because if you are a regular watcher, you'll know that I had eczema growing up as a child. So I use a lot of products on my skin to get, you know, get rid of all of the scars and indentures and just marking on my skin. However, I find that I like natural stuff and I usually, my very first facial scrub was corned meal. And I think I probably was at least 11 years old or so. I think I, I read a lot when I was growing up. I was like a, what you call a bookworm. I would get lost in book world, no joke. You name the series for that they have ba them, Bob's Twin, um, All the Boys, Nancy Dew, um, you know, all different kinds of books. Give me the fairy tale, name the fairy tale. I probably tell you that I read it right? I used to read and that is where I used to get lost in. And the older I get is the more I read um, books that are geared towards teenagers and stuff like that. So whenever you get, I'm from Jamaica and we were didn't have an abundant amount of literature. So sometimes we tend to read a book all 10 times. No joke. Mm, don't, 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 don't. Other than that, I discovered the library at about 11 years old. So I started going to the library and I was exposed to more, a wider, you know, culture and stuff that children of the, from different world were doing. And I, um, teenagers were like, you know, doing, um, I won't name names, but they were like doing their facial stuff. They have lotion and stuff, creams and stuff that they use on their face. And I discovered, um, facial scrub, something I want to try because of something I read. So yeah, cornmeal was available. So I made my cornmeal. However, in Jamaica, that is what a lot of people at that time use on their skin when you're not that privileged. Okay. So I started out doing all of that thing. So I'm just saying that to say I start skincare at an early age. And I honestly think that one of the reasons why my skin is like this is with not so much wrinkles is not because of genes because I have family members that do have a lot of wrinkles for their age that I don't have but I believe starting at a young age to take care of your skin you will reap the benefit later on there are many people that comes on my channel and they'll normally be like oh you doing Botox or you doing something probably mini lift or what I do nothing to my skin. I am so scared of these kind of uh, thing that is like no joke. I like to talk a lot and all of that, but I'm a scary cat. I right now I feel like my, yeah, I'm talking guys, turkey, not turkey, but my, my Thanksgiving food is in me and I'm just talking, right? I'm straight from talking about collagen, but not really, you know, just hanging there. All right. So, um, where was I? <laughs> Where was that? Yes. Yeah. So no, 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 no. Right now, I really feel like I could, you know, um, get some of the stomach out, but little old me scared of these things. And I gained weight when I leave my parents' home. I leave my parents' home when I was um, 18 years old. No joke. Yeah. I basically was thrown out of the house because I was too much into myself. Anyway, I... Um, I went and I got myself a job right out of high school, like right out of high school, I got a job. I'm always working, guys. I saw working at the age of 18 and I never stop. I am always, always, always working and I'm always 100% independent. All right. So, yeah, I went and I got myself a job and therefore, I where was I? I'm just like, just get sidetracked just now. But yeah, back to the skin since I you know, totally. Okay. But yeah. So the stomach thing here, I am scared of all of that kind of stuff. I prefer to go and exercise. So back what I was saying with the working out of high school, I discover food because back home food, you got to eat what they give to you. When I start working, I could eat what I want. So I take my money and I buy all the junk. We don't grow up eating junk, but now I have a little money. I was able to buy junk. I was able to buy sandwich biscuit with the cream in the middle, the long pot. I don't even know if they make those anymore. And I used to just enjoy those kind of things. And little old me who grew up like really, really skinny, get really, really big. So I'm 
trying to tell you that I went from like a hundred, that's the highest I've ever been though, 170 pounds. So I blew up from something like 116 to 20 pounds fresh out of my parents' house to 170 pounds, no joke, in a short space of time. Very uncomfortable, walking on the street, no one recognized me. My very own cousin, Pauline C., one day I went and I looked for her and she was like, and we grew up together, she didn't recognize me. I was so embarrassed, I started to cry, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. That's all eating junk. And what I did, I started to watch what I ate and I went down from 170 back to 125 pounds. And for years and years and years and years and years, I fluctuate between 125 pounds to 130 pounds. That was my weight. So I know if you if you eat right and you take care of yourself, you can you know look how you want to look and you can feel how you want to feel and your skin can look amazing without you know doing but to each his own i'm not here to you know i'm just saying just saying just saying okay so what i'm here to tell you start young however if you have not start taking care started to take care of your skin at a younger age it's not too late what i recommend for a lot of you out there that are my age or even in your 40s most of my watchers are between 25 and the good old 55 years old that is the bulk of my subscribers okay so when i give recipe i give for a wide range right in that what I'm trying to tell you guys is just to take care of yourself if you take okay we're talking the food is still in so let's talk all right I have when I go out and I'm around my peers even with the additional weight that I gained I feel I look younger and I'm not even on here trying to boast or anything like that I feel I look younger than they look and they're thinking that oh i look a certain way because i would wear like my hair in color and i'm fussy about my skin take a note what i'm saying and this is the reason why i look younger I have the same stress they have, most of them, okay? I have the same kind of stress. It's very stressful to live in New York City. New York City is a very, very, very expensive, guys. And if somebody else tell you otherwise, they are lying. New York City is expensive, but it's one city that you can actually make it, but you gotta work hard, okay? I came to New York City like 23, 24 years ago, around in about 24 years ago. However, I do leave a very, very good job to come here following company basically a friend of mine encouraged me to go to the embassy get my visa blah 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 anyway i end up here i end up living here start all over yes i came here in my 20s very young but back home in my 20s i was doing well okay all right work on remember i started work at 18 all right so it's very stressful living in new york especially if you try to own something for yourself you have taxes yeah there's just a lot of bills okay so it could really really stretch to you how but if you work hard you could take care of all of that bear in mind i'm saying that so i'm just saying all of this to say i have the same kind of stress that they have and i have even if i gain weight i tend to look younger why is that is it because the genes? No. Some of them look like me and some of them don't look like me if you get the gist right however it's all about dedication. Dedication. You got to take care of yourself, guys. You got to take care of yourself. And if you're out there and you're watching right now, just listen to me. You got to take care of you. You got to take care of you. We, I know I'm straight from the topic. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I feel like talking today. I think it's all of the vitamins and minerals in those Brussels sprouts and asparagus and what I got yesterday, beets and stuff like, ooh, the good stuff for the skin. And I get a big old avocado to and mm, it was good so i think it's all of that you know nutrients in my body now giving me this energy to talk to you guys but you got to take care of yourself there are times when we just give up on ourselves there are times when we you know feel a little lazy and i understand that but if you don't take care of yourself what you're going to wake up and find one day is that you just look 
agad. And it's no joke. Life can take a toll on you. Spend the extra time to take care of you. Sometimes some of you get into relationships. And once you're in there and you're comfortable, you stop taking care of you. The same thing that attract that person to you is what the person wants you to keep doing because they're going to see somebody else out there that is doing the thing that attract them to you and ba 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 and then you're gonna start to cry like oh i do so much and no take care of yourself first put yourself first i'm serious guys put yourself first for me i put myself well most people tell me i don't put myself first for years and years i take care of everybody i take care of my family i take care of friends i still do it don't get me wrong but now i find that hey stop it look at yourself take care of you buy yourself something nice i would go to the shopping guys i'm talking today sorry and i would go shopping and i would refuse to buy myself something nice because i feel like if i buy that for myself and it costs i'm just gonna go cheap and well there's no such thing as cheap but let's say there's a purse for a hundred dollars now I know some of you are going to see like some going to be like it's expensive and some of you going to be like that is cheap. OK, for New York City lifestyle, Andre, that is cheap. All right. However, I would refuse to buy the perk. First of all, guys, it took me years to buy a boot for a hundred dollars. And when I purchased that boot for a hundred dollars out of my little salary, I was like, you know, looking at the boot like a what if I'm doing something wrong. I would refuse to buy something expensive because I feel like one of my family members or somebody is going to need that. And why should I buy a boot for $100 when somebody else needs it? That is me. And that is what I have been for years and years and years. Never buy anything nice for myself. Always be giving. Always, 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 always be giving. Always giving, guys. Always giving. Never take care of me. But one day I woke up and it's like probably about a year ago and I realized that I need to take care of me. I need to take care of me. It's time to take a care of me. I'm just telling you guys to take a care of yourself. If you don't, when I end my show most time and I say this, if you don't, no one is going to do it for you. And that is the truth. Do you find that sometimes when life is good, sorry guys, collagen, collagen, collagen. Do you find sometimes when life is good, you see a lot of people around you. I remember when I was going to school and before I went to, yes, guys, I do have degrees and stuff like that. But anyway, before I went to, 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 um, to college, I went to college in Jamaica. I came in America and I still have to go to college. I've been going to school like forever. Anyway, so I used to be like taking care of the whole family. I'm used to doing all of that kind of stuff. And when I decided to go to college, I was a little cocky. I wanted to go to a good college, which was a little out of my price range. I'm not even going to lie. It's out of my price range. But that's where I want to go, okay? I want a piece of paper from that particular college. So I deprived myself to go to this college, and it was costing me an arm and a leg. Little old me didn't have all of that wonderful money to, you know, give, yes, what it peptides. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Anyway, guys, we are going to talk about peptide. I just look at the comments, and I say some Somebody was like, oh, what it peptide. All right, guys, we'll continue that. If you want to hear more about my little life stories, I don't know what happened. Anyway, yesterday was my sister's birthday. We are two kids. And uh, me and my sister, for those of you who are the oldest on my channel, you'll see like my niece and my nephews. They come in in a couple of weeks. And my sister passed like a couple of years ago and little old me just left. So I think uh, maybe that's why I'm talking so much today, a little emotional and the food and everything combined. And I'm not talking about peptide and collagen and elastin. So let's get back to it. But guys, if you want me to continue this story and you want to know a little bit more about me, my background and all of that, and I'm in the mood like I'm in it today, 
then let me know and we'll talk, okay? We'll talk. So let's go back since people are asking questions about collagen and peptides. Sorry for those who are going to watch the show after and be like, okay, so what are the three collagen and peptide? And then they see me just babbling away, babbling away. But lucky for you guys on the chat who some of you watch me for years and don't know a single thing about me. So that's actually good for you. All right. So anyway, hello, Lucy. I was just looking and I was like, I don't see Lucy, but now you're here. All right, guys. So Jason, don't get me emotional, Chichi. You're such a good person. And what you're saying is so true. Take care of you because nobody's going to do it for you. Thank you so much. But Gideon, pulling out my heart string. All right. So see why I stop. I stop. I never get like this in public. For believe it or not, some people think I'm a rock. Like some people don't even know I cry. Like, like I'm supposed to be the strong one all the time. Anyway. Enough of that. Vicky Vicky, sorry for your last. You see why I don't talk about these things. All right. Um, Celine's, it was my 43rd birthday too. Yes, sis. And I and I are a birthday twin. So happy birthday to you. Diane Brown, would you um would love to hear your life story? It's so important to connect. I know, I know. i definitely it's coming, guys. A lot of things is coming. Would you um okay? So Lucy, my goodness, there I just woke up. It's already 12 in the afternoon. I'm exhausted from yesterday working. So I know no Barbara Shepherd, be you Chichi. Thank you so much. We have um Marietta, um, um well do thanks and we also i'm just going back over those that i missed thank you for all your advice your encourage um your encouragement to live well and get better whenever i got to go to a store i always think of my daughter and other friend children or neighbors and that is the way to go thank you brooke and cherry blossom your skin look glowing thank you for that so guys i know the show is about collagen and elastin and i just went off topic like totally off topic but bear with me i am human hello lerbert how are you and uh, you know sometimes it's important to just vent which you don't normally see me venting all right um i'll meta hey, Chichi, as i watch your your stream i have learned so much about skin condition and how to treat it. Even though I start my skin routine much later in life, I hope some of it works. Um, I am retired now. And that is from Almenta. And yes, Almenta, definitely. So I was saying earlier on that if you, regardless, if you didn't start to take care of your skin at an early age, I am Jam Jamaican visiting the USA. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Jackie Robinson, I have used oatmeal when I was 12. And oatmeal is amazing for the skin. All right, so if you didn't start at an early age, you can, it's never too late to start. Now, when I come on the show, I normally give um, stuff to prevent, and I also give things that will help to get rid of. So those are two words that you need to look for. This could help you to get rid of wrinkles, and this could also help you to prevent wrinkles so that is good what i suggest for you if you're starting out late to take care of your skin do a lot of facial exercises i practice to do those in the morning so back the boots and the collagen in the skin the collagen and elastin if you do a lot of facial exercises it's gonna help especially when you apply those good stuff to your skin and you do the exercises you are gonna be blown away as so fast and effective it is lifting the skin and I don't have this deep line, like, unless, excuse my nails, I was cooking, I didn't get to go to get them done. So I don't want to hear it. All right. So if you do all of this, and there's a lot of these on my show, not a lot, but a few of these exercises, this is one I like to do a lot. And I honestly think that is the reason why I don't have the deep laugh line, like really deep, because with my weight gain, it should be a little more like this. No joke. It should be a little more like this, but with the exercises, exercise in the skin uh, to boost the collagen in the skin. And the reason for that is circulation. When you wake the skin up, the circulation, the, the, the blood flow cause the skin to plump up and with the plumping up of the skin, it's up to the, the pores to open and just drink up all of that good stuff that you apply to the skin. And therefore that's how you are going to boost the collagen. You can boost the collagen internally also. Avocado. Guys, let me tell you something. There's one ingredient that some of you might know that is good for the skin and some might not know. That is garlic. 
Garlic is good for a lot of things, a lot, a lot, a lot of things for the body. So if you use up a lot of garlic in your cooking, I use a lot of natural spice in my cooking. Some, even if I like um, tarragon, I don't really so like the taste of that. I still cook with it because, you know, if the benefit of it is good. So I cook with a lot of tarragon. I cook with a lot of maragon. I cook with a lot of parsley, celery, and all of these things. Not everybody's going to take a stalk of celery and just chew on it with some peanut butter. Yes, I do that sometimes. Or just, you know, like just bite it like that but to get the benefit from it you can actually cut it up and throw it in your food and cook with it so that's what i do what i don't like to eat directly i like to cook with it and when you eat all these herbs and all these um fruits and vegetables you're gonna flush the system out a clean gut leave your skin looking clean boosts the collagen in the skin water hydrates the skin drink a lot of water and work out a little bit walk up and down the stairs i gain all this weight because i sit a lot believe it or not i sit a lot because i work on the computer and i'll when i start something i don't want to stop which is bad so now i'm breaking myself into working out before i start my day i don't want to stop so i would just be going 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 I don't eat. I don't drink. I just want to finish what I'm doing. Bad, 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 bad. Got to get up and walk and, you know, so practice to do that. All of that contribute to you looking amazing. All of that contribute to your skin looking good and not only your skin, but you feeling good. And when you feel good also, guys, your skin do look better. No joke. There's a lot of things that contribute to you looking good, not only what you put on your skin, but also the way you you carry yourself, the way you, you eat, the way you feel within yourself. All of, have you ever been in a situation where you feel yes, strain from the topic again? Have you ever been in a situation where you feel like really, really down and you feel like you nothing look right? Your clothes don't fit right. Everything just don't feel right. OK, you don't even feel like getting up out of the bed because you don't want to put no clothes. You just don't have that feeling and reverse that. Have you ever feel that feeling when you're feeling really, really good? When you're feeling really good, you want to comb your hair, you want to get your nails done, you want to wear nice clothes, and your skin's going to look good because you're shining, you're glowing, and that's what you want. And sometimes, guys, some of the food that we eat just make us sluggish, like oh, we all eat turkey and all of that good stuff yesterday, and some of us can't even get up. It's going to make us sluggish. But if you eat lighter vegetables and all of that, it's going to help you. Better said than done. I know everybody out there here about eating right, doing that, ba, ba, ba. We already know that a lot of us know what to do and we don't do it anyway. But anyway, it also contributes to you looking good. If you notice, a lot of people nowadays is turning to skincare. And the reason why they're turning to, I mean, natural skincare, and the reason why they're turning to the natural skincare is because it works. I don't know if any of you guys um, noticed there's a little dark mark on the side of my face. If you watch a couple of my videos this week, you'll see a little dark mark on the side of my face. And that is something I was trying on my skin and it actually burned my skin. Um, no joke. So it leave a little mark there. You guys know that I do try a lot of stuff and I keep it real with you guys. I told you guys my skin is sensitive. Some people believe, some people don't believe. But one of the reasons why I turned to natural is because of the very same thing. Little certain products burn my skin. So natural is best and mostly oils. All right, so guys, we're talking about, I tried to find a question someone asked me. All right, so, um, we talk about collagen, vitamin C. Um, okay, let me go back and see if I could find the question. I think I got it somewhere. Anyway, guys, let me take some question. Lerbert, my baby sister, uh, all right, yes, Lerbert, I know that. I. You notice I paused, like I didn't want to finish reading the statement. All right, so uh, Jada said, eat almond butter. Um, no one should eat peanut butter. You know something? You know, I, um, I don't buy the big brand peanut butter. I actually buy the natural peanut butter, and that is the one that it don't even have salt. It don't really have a nice taste. You could get it in the store to buy. So I do eat that peanut butter, but I also eat almond butter, and I always buy the almond butter 
which I put also in my smoothie. So I do both, but I really and truly love the peanut butter. And that is why I turn to the natural peanut butter, the one that most people don't like and don't taste good, to be honest, because it don't have all of the, you know, the, the nice stuff that the regular peanut butter have. But that's the one I buy. I could go to the grocery guys and I could pick up everything healthy because I shop like that for years and years and years. And I'll pick up things that is good for me that I know I don't really like like but i still try to eat it and that is the peanut butter to be honest and i'm keeping it real with you i prefer the good old time peanut butter like you know i don't want to name brands however i don't buy those i buy the healthy one the natural one okay all right so um jackie robinson um lucy has responded to something i only had a few bites just so the food make me full all right so yes you know yes you could actually do that and stop eating as soon as you feel full but when it comes on to like turkey day and all of that do you really do that still i i try to taste everything and that is one of my issues i'm gonna taste it i'm gonna taste it other days then no but turkey day i'm gonna eat um hello mo thanks to your advice i save on one of my front tooth i never took care of fixing it always spending my money for my child because i am a single mom and i understand that very very well because you want your child to be more you you know than you are but definitely you got to you got to you got to you got to got to got to got to fix um take time for yourself Ooh, okay guys so now we are still watching and we're going to talk a little more about collagen but if you're liking the video give it a thumbs up guys if you like the chat if you want me to chat with each other sometime not talking about skincare feel free to give the video a thumbs up and also to comment now guys someone was asking a question and i'm really trying to find the exact question but i can't find it right now but anyway we'll talk if i if it come across i'll um i'll uh, respond to it um vitamin k guys if you use a lot of vitamin k or when you buy store-bought products out there look for vitamin k because vitamin k is what for those of you who like to ask about eczema and uh, psoriasis and all of that scrapes and spots and blemishes on the skin one vitamin that is going to help to clear the skin of all of that is vitamin k also know that there's nothing that you need to do in excess okay moderately just make sure you get vitamin K in your system or in your skincare products. That's I want to um, um, mention. So there you have that. All right, guys. So you notice I'm all over today, like not even staying on topic. I totally lost. Zuzaza. Let's get back into skincare. All right, three ingredients. Let's talk about the second ingredient, which is vitamin A. Vitamin A, everyone on the chat always know I talk a lot about vitamin A. I use a lot of vitamin A because I am trying to get rid of wrinkles, boost the collagen and elastin in my skin. All right, guys, why vitamin A? Just what I just mentioned. Vitamin A is good for topically and also internally, but mostly topically on the skin. Where do you get vitamin A? You could get vitamin A from most of those wonderful nuts and fruits and vegetables, but more so nuts. You have oils like, you know, cocaine oil, rosehip oil. You also have um, a little bit of a walnut oil, have a bit of a vitamin A in it. And they have some wonderful special oils that I mentioned on the chat last week. You could go back and watch those for some unique oils that have vitamin A in it. You can also find vitamin A in your green leaf vegetables. Eat right and apply stuff to your skin to boost the collagen production in the skin. All right, so elastic elastin elastin remember we said elastin is when you touch the skin you need it to bounce back so what is it that you can use on your skin to tighten the skin so that when you touch it is bounce back boots in that elastin in the skin topically you can use stuff like eggs eggs is good for tightening that skin you can use stuff like clay like fuller's earth and pink clay and green clay and you can also use stuff like the good old green tea you can also use some 
someone asked me the other day, how, how can green tea tighten the skin? Green tea help to tighten the skin because it contains a lot of antioxidant and those antioxidant, when you uh, drink it or when you apply it topically, boots the circulation in the skin and that is what helps to boost the collagen production in the skin. So drink up the green tea and also use it on the skin. It's gonna help to tighten the skin. Another wonderful fruit that can help to tighten the skin, believe it or not, is papaya. Not because it don't grab the skin, it doesn't mean that it don't have to tighten the skin, okay? The video I post this morning, guys, you guys need to go and watch that video. Really amazing video using banana. Banana is another ingredient that I personally like to use on my skin. And I think a lot of people overlook the banana loaded with potassium so it's good to eat also all right and sometimes some of us don't get enough potassium which we won't get into next thing youtube just think that is too medical and block the, the chart but banana is loaded with potassium and banana also have a bit of a vitamin k for those of you looking for that extra vitamin k now when it comes on to your skin Topically applying banana to the skin is awesome. The video, go watch it. I mix that banana with some coffee, guys. I'm telling you, I was like, mmm, mmm, mmm. And maybe that's why this, I like to sing and I like music too. And maybe that's why my face is not looking all so boom from being so tired because I have, I've been using that banana and coffee mixed with some other ingredients. I'm not gonna tell you the other ingredients because I want you guys to go and watch the video. Go watch the video when you're done watching this. Comment, 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 comment. Tell me what is it that you would change from that video, the ingredients and what would you add to that video. That is a good collagen boot, sir. That is a good mixed, a good blend to boost the elastin in the skin. Um, next time, use a little bit of the sample on your hand. All right, so, oh yes, I know. I know, I know, I know. All right, so that's about the little marking on the side of my face. Jason, um, you can find vitamin A, D, E, F in shea butter. Yes, and that's the reason why a lot of people use the shea butter. It's loaded with all those vitamins. People use it on their skin and they use it um, and their hair, it's up to boost the hair follicles to have your hair growing fuller and thicker, especially when you mix it with the castor oil. All right, so um, I went back, guys, just to look at some of the comments. Alicia Armstrong, your skin is so amazing. Thank you for helping us who need it, and you are so welcome. And um, Jason, potassium is an electrolyte which is very important for the body and especially for the heart. Jason, are you doing medicine or something? thing and oh no, i forget you told me what you're doing i know because you know all of these stuff right all right so um yes jason is are you still um studying or are you finished how far are you and what what is the um what is it that they have over there in france do they have like nclex um let me know jason and Jason is a regular subscriber, always here, always, always, always. And he's living in France, Paris to be exact, and he's studying nursing. I'm not sure if he's done or how far along are you. Pot of fizz, Jason is very rough. Anyway, all right. Um, hello, um, hello, Mo. Um, I thought it was vitamin K. I was going to ask you if I can use lettuce or smash cook lettuce. Or, of course you can. Um, that's going to hydrate your skin. That's loaded with water, especially if you use that, um, what they call that crispy lettuce. Um, I'm totally blank now. Um, I forget the name of that one, the round one that is very watery. That is gonna hydrate the skin i just uh, tr actually you could actually crush that put it in the fridge and just pack it on on your face and that's gonna help to plump the skin up anything cold is gonna help to plump the skin up and that's why sometimes you guys see some videos out there with people using ice on their skin it's not a joke it do help to plump the skin up and boost that collagen production second year we have to do three years oh you just started so you are doing like pharmacology and stuff like anyway all right jason I'm all about what you do. All right, so um, 
Precious baby, it's my first time here. Oh, welcome, welcome. And, and I know today is a day that some of you first timer might be like, ah, what about the collagen? But sorry, guys, not always like this. What you can also do, um, you can um, basically go back and look at the playlist. Let's talk skincare. And you basically see what we do with skincare. Let's talk skincare. Today, I'm just on a, like, like a talk, a talk, a talk, a talk, a talk, which I don't normally do. But bear with me today, guys. Welcome to Let's Talk skincare and let's talk skincare we discuss the topic we stray from the topic but we talk we interact with each other people on the chat interact with each other and we basically spend a wonderful hour just you know enjoying ourselves talking about skin and so on and so forth so welcome welcome join me every friday 1 30 today's a little late but it's normally 1 30 eastern standard time on th chichi b you have changed my life today your story of life is so great tears come to my eyes and i really don't like to make you guys cry but i really like to talk a little bit sometime and it's good to as you said someone on the chat said just to get a little feel to know that i'm human i'm not just somebody on the phone screen i am actually human all right nuki jinx my first as well my real name is nikki i love the fact that you use natural ingredient and welcome 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 nikki welcome to the chat eloise jackson eloise jackson my first time over i take collagen in powder form and welcome 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 we also have all of that listed today Day to talk about but we just didn't get into it but i definitely will put the topic back up guys if you notice i totally like just just stop but we definitely will pick the topic back up and we'll talk more about collagen and elastin but i did give you three ingredients that you know you need to have to boost the collagen which is vitamin a vitamin c and we also have a peptide and you can get um all of this the vitamin c and uh, increased amino acid and it also hydronic acid all of that is a combination of things but i'm definitely gonna um go deeper into it for you on another chat so right now i'm just a chit a chatting with you guys grace ben my first time welcome to the chat I, if you're on the chat watching and this is your first time feel free to let me know so i could give you your shout out also if you like the chat feel free to comment okay all right comment 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 so we know that you are loving the chat and also thumbs the video up um it's okay friend we all have turkey on the side all right so i just missed that uh john prescott i'm a truck driver what and what oh this is a good one i'm a truck driver um what can i use to clean my face when i don't have access to water or sink you will have to use wipes and you could get those in the pharmacy and they are like they're not baby wipes okay but you can also use the baby wipe but they have facial wipes and they have a wide variety of facial wipes you could get them in any like walgreens cvs wherever it is that you live if that's if you're in a, i'm just assuming right now because he says the truck driver that is but your favorite drug store is gonna have some of these on your discount store some of them gonna have these wipes they're called facial wipes and a lot of popular brands clean and clear and all these brands do sell these facial wipes and you have different kinds you have anti-aging you also have collagen boots in you also have wipes with vitamin c and they're not very pricey so you could actually get Get those you could keep them in your truck with you and you could wipe your face make sure you toss each time you use one okay very hydrated what i like to do if i want to cheat i tip a little bit of a water on it if you know always have water to make it be more wet that's when you can't get a water because some of them is not as wet as i would want them to be so you could tip a little water and it's still going to get the same benefit and wipe your face with that very very refreshing so that's what i recommend for you all right and we also have um precious baby please what um can i use for dark spots now for dark spot there are many many things that you can use when it comes on to natural 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 i think the thing that worked best for me is the potato and also turmeric that's what worked best on my skin for the dark spots and i make a lot of videos using those uh, two ingredients combine with other things so definitely try them and we have a lot a lot a lot of video 
Papaya also have to clear dark spot. Lemons and limes have to clear dark spot. When you use it directly on your skin or you mix it with other ingredients. I have a lot of videos. And to use my, my channel page, you guys click on my face below the video. And it's going to take you to the channel page. When you get on the channel page, you're going to see a lot of videos. And they're in like playlists, dark spots, um, skin tightening, anti-aging. You're going to see them in playlists. And just click on that and you you're on your way to getting some of these awesome remedy that is on the channel for dark spots and blemishes okay all right let me oh where is my thing what happened just now okay here it goes sometimes the computer can really play uh, jokes all right so um alicia how do you know if the vitamin c serum is is a good one you're not gonna know until you start using it after when you start using vitamin c on your face no joke within the first week you should know if, if you're only using the vitamin c because other things combined is going to give um, a different result. But if you're using vitamin C on your face only, after a week, you should notice a form of a difference. What is going to happen to your skin is going to look a little more brighter, a little more radiant, like you find like you're having a little glow. If you don't see it after a week or after two weeks, then you know that uh, this vitamin C is really not working on my skin. But vitamin C, you should see fast result, basically. However, please note that vitamin C is very, very difficult to maintain the potency. It can't expose to this. Expose. It's, it's a very, very tricky, all right? Now, they came up with a new invention, and this is what Let's Talk Skincare is all about, a new invention where they're making the vitamin C in powder form, and they're selling like the vitamin C powder with the oil. And when you get it at home, you mix it together. Because if you mix it before, it might lose the potency like really, really fast. So if you can get your hands more so now on the powder. And if you notice a lot of things nowadays, it's all going into powder. They're blending powders, powder this, powder that. And then you're going to just add the water to it. And that is protecting the vitamins and minerals in these products that's why they're doing that now for instance i just mentioned early on the hour about the blueberry powder okay if they make blueberry drink it's uh, just have a limited shelf life but if they dry the blueberry and put it to a powder it's still gonna maintain the vitamins and the minerals and they, they that's why we have all of these powder, powder, powder. But definitely vitamin C, you should see fast result. And when all else fail, get a, a lemon, burst it open and just rub it on your skin. If you have sensitive skin, like, oh, I can't rub a lemon on my skin. Like just squeeze the lemon in some yogurt, okay? Squeeze it in some yogurt and rub it on your skin. Within a week, you're gonna see it even faster than buying uh, vitamin C, cream and it's it's really no joke okay so just give that a try all right so um we also have um what worked the fastest for okay i did um answer that precious please okay dark spot we just answered that and we have tembi happy friday chichi and all to you happy friday to you guys you could see my time is up i'm just trying to go through the comments i don't see all the comments sometimes when the show is over some of the comments are like, I didn't see that. So I'm just trying to go through to see what I missed. Vigil, V-E-E-J-I-L. Sorry, okay, yes, I think I read that. Um, all right, so I think I cover most of what I am seeing. I'm sure that when I'm done, I'm gonna see more comment that I didn't see. F Malki, love yourself. You are such a nice soul from Pakistan. And thank you so much for that. Latifa, um, hello, your skin look very beautiful. Greeting from London. And thank you so much for that. Guys, if you like today chat, if you like just watching and listening, please give the video a thumbs up. We like to get it to at least 100 thumbs up to know that we are, you know, doing something good that you guys want to continue to watch. Now, announcement, announcement, announcement. Now, Let's Talk Skincare is actually a series that we do every Friday. 
Now we are thinking that we probably will stop let's talk skincare going into next year if we are not getting like the 100 thumbs up that we need. So we need to make sure that when you watch, if you really like it, you give it a thumbs up to show your support so that when we go back to the drawing board and we decide to cut certain things, we will know if we're going to keep let's talk skincare going on to next year or we're going to start a different series. So if you are watching, you like it, you want it to continue, continue give the video a thumbs up okay all right so guys that is it for today i'm trying to answer at least another comment and precious all right let's click on this arrow nope nope all right here it comes i've been watching so the celine i've been i have been what trying the facial watch with turmeric and lemon and aloe but it's cut off but so you're saying you haven't been seeing results exfoliate the skin before exfoliate your skin and then you use it for a week and let me know what is going on all right all right um um what's good for wrinkles and eyes and around i use parsley i like to use a lot of parsley around my eyes you can blend some parsley with cucumber and if it's dark then well you're asking for wrinkle but so i like to use a lot of parsley and bar parsley also contains vitamin k so it's going to help to clear the skin from the darkness under the eyes i mix parsley with a lot of different things cucumber i mix it with potato i mix it with milk i mix it with a wide variety it's green tea and I use that around the ears of my eyes. I swear by those things because they really work wonders on mine. And you're probably new to the channel, but I have severe, I add severe dark on the eye circles. And that's what actually helped me a lot, like really, really helped. So you can actually give that a try. And I have a lot of recipe on the channel using the parsley. And Janice, Jacob, I just want to say good job. Keep it up. Thank you so much for that. Hello, Comfort Swim. Bye from Berlin. Hello. And you watch this channel all the time. I know that. I know most of you guys that is watching my name. Um, um, hello. Will, when Shea Butter give me dandruff, I just massage it and it feels good. It's my country, 80. Dandruff mean that here is growing. Is that true? No. Um, scientifically, <laughs> dandruff is actually a dry skin. And that is a form of a dehydration to the skin. So when you find all of that flakiness and all of that, it have a lot to do with the ear follicles not producing enough. Um, I'm going to use the word uh, sebum, grease, oil to moisten the air follicles. And that's how you get the dandruff. So definitely there's a lot of myth when it comes down to a lot of things like, you know, back then. But no, oil your scalp, massage your scalp and wash your hair so that it put back the moisture, basically is what I'm saying, to prevent the dandruff. All right. Okay. Um Somebody's acting up of sebum. Are you trying to figure? Well, you've spelled the word right, so I guess you know what it is. All right, so that is it, guys. My time is up. Sorry for those of you who come on and want to hear more about collagen and elastin and all of that. I have a lot of videos that I talk about this, but I promise you guys, probably next week, I will touch on the topic again. I get carried away. I was just talking and talking and some of you love it. Some of you probably is disappointed, but that is just the human side of me today. I thank you all for watching. I love you guys. And I just want you to you know, your support is amazing, amazing, amazing. And I look forward to sharing more things with you and learning from you too. So have a good weekend. Hello, Agatha from St. Lucia. And take care of you, as I said, do a facial mask. 107, go watch the video I post this morning and leave the comment. Leave the comment. I know some of your names watching, so I'm gonna look for the comment. Leave a comment and tell me what you think about it. I personally love that combination, really love that combination. So I just want to hear your feedback on that video. And it's posted on the channel, so watch it if you missed it. Also, guys, if you're not getting notification, go to the page. And if you don't see the little bell with the parentheses over it, click on it. If you don't, if you see it and you're not getting it, 
click on it and then click off and click back on and make sure the parentheses is there so that you get the notification. They don't send notification to everyone. I do know that because if it's not turned on in your phone, you're not going to get it, even though the bell is turned on and all of that. Next year, I'm trying to be make sure that I post video on time so that people who don't get the notification will also know that. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. It's going to be there so they could go and look for the video anyway. I've been not able to do that all year because time and a lot, I have so much going, but I'm really, really going to try to do better with timing. So you definitely will be able to go and look for it. If you're still watching and you have not yet thumbs the video up, we're trying to get it to 100, at least 100 thumbs up. Feel free to thumbs up the video. My time is up, but I'm still looking for comments and Karen it was an awesome show today thank you so much for that constant have a blessed weekend see you on Sunday we have a show guys with all the newbies we have a Sunday show also every Sunday at 4 30 p.m eastern standard that show has been going on for over two years so if you have not watched it yet Put your, your um, reminder on. It's 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time. And we it's similar to this, but we're, it's more about how different is this? We don't really, we talk more about what goes on on the channel and skincare and stuff on the channel. This one, we talk about everything outside, you know, everything that's going on in the skincare world. So you don't want to miss Sunday chat. 4.30 p.m. every Sunday or 1.30 um, p.m. specific time. Still waiting for four more thumbs up. Have a great weekend. Do a facial this weekend. Do a facial scrub. Try something new. And if it works for you, send over the ingredient or just tell me what is it so I could try it for myself. Sharon Ferguson, I've been using facial masks and they're working wonders. Thank you so much. Razi Beer, thanks. Enjoy the rest of the day. Sarah Nabu Tuta. Uh, I all here. All right. Ben Grace, thank you. And what vitamin C serum do you use? I am currently using a vitamin C serum that was sent to me and it's from Luxemia. I've been trying, I've been showing you guys this a lot and I have a reason why I'm showing it to you, but it is actually working for me. It's all natural. Blah, 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 blah. It's all natural. And it's really, 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 really amazing. So I'll talk more about it. I have not like listed or anything like that. I didn't purchase it. They sent it to me and it's amazing, like really amazing. It's 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 really good. So that's what I'm currently trying on my skin right now. Okay, our uh, um, sesame seed oil help on what? A lot of things, wrinkles and fine lines, boots in the collagen. I'm using the sesame seed oil too. I was trying to see if I have it right here beside me. Because what I use on a lot, I put it right on my deck so I don't... um forget to use them. It's really good. I recently discovered the sesame seed oil and it's amazing, but make sure you get the one that is unroasted or on toast sesame seed oil. That's the one you want with no fragrance whatsoever in it. Root, the, the same to you. Thank you. Hello, Magdalene. Great weekend too. All right, guys, uh, my time is up. I gotta go. Four more thumbs up. If you're watching and you have not yet thumbs the video up, give the video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 100 thumbs up so we know we could continue. Let's start skincare with Chichi Beauty. Some people don't know how to thumbs the video up. It's actually right below where the screen ends. And you're going to see one finger up and one finger down. Mostly try to touch the one up. <laughs> I'm joking. Just do what you feel you know comfortable doing. No pressure here. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video go watch the video continue to support have a great weekend go back and eat the leftover if you have a good um dinner yesterday and also take care of your friends and family smile smile and try to de-stress yourself a little all right do you find that sometimes you stressed out a lot and the very thing you that you were stressing about it just worked itself out and then you'll be like why did you waste your time stressing try to put yourself to at, in that a stage or in that situation and tell yourself that things will work out okay i, I do agree that you can sit and expect it to work out you got to work on it for it to work out but try not to stress so much i love you guys and i'll see you next week next week Friday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another in our series, um, Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty.